In this video, we're going to review the basic principles behind control points, what they are, why they're important, and how they're established on the job site. If you purchased a total station recently, this is important to understand prior to your first job. Let me use a diagram to explain. Almost every job site that you're laying out with the total station has some sort of digital plan that represents how that plan should look in the field. So here I have an example of a CAD file that I might need to lay out in the field. And you can see on most CAD files, there's some sort of evidence of where the control lines are expected to be. So let's say that this is something you need to lay out in the field and you take your total station and you put it in the center of your job site area. Then you look and identify which control lines have been established for you prior to beginning your job. And you notice that grid line K, grid line 14, grid line G, and grid line 12 have all been established in the field. What that means is the total station, if guided correctly, will be able to use these lines to set itself up to know which direction it is looking on the job site, as well as its digital location coordinates on the job site. What I mean by that is let's say that you take your prism and you measure grid line K14, grid line intersection G14, G12, and K12. Once you measure these four points, as long as they're accurate, the total station now knows exactly where it is on the digital plan. It also knows which way it's looking on this plan so that it can then guide you to all the different objects you need to lay out on this drawing. Partition walls, anchor points, sleeves, etc. So to recap, control points are known coordinates within a digital drawing that are also physically marked out in the field. They orient the tool to where it is in the field for both its digital coordinates as well as the direction it's looking on the plan. And they're usually clearly indicated on the drawing as X's or intersection of grid lines or something of that nature. And on the right side, you can see that obviously I have the plan that I was using before with clearly indicated grid lines and their intersections. And on the top, something where you can see the actual targets that they're gonna be using for controls as X's. These are obviously the targets that they would tie into to station the total station. Now who is it that is responsible for making the control points? Well, it usually all begins with the land surveyor. So the land surveyor will come in and locate the property and the building and establish control points that indicate certain offsets from key critical landmarks on the building. Then the general contractor would take those control points and modify them or bring them in closer to the job site where their subcontractors can use them to lay out the material that goes inside the building. Following the general contractor's work, other parties, such as the subcontractors themselves, might take those points and make extensions of them at their convenience to lay out their own work that they might need to lay out on the job site. Most of the main control points are stable and secure and might look something like this. You can see here four pictures, the first one being a stake in the ground, buried deeply flush to the ground, making a control point, actual survey pins, as you see here, this is an actual survey stake that's used for land surveying in the United States. And here you have something that's extremely common where X's are chalked or drawn very clearly on the ground that indicate what intersection of grid line they represent. And in this case, it's represent a, a grid line that's three foot west of U.8 and three foot south of another one that's indicated over here. So even though this was a simple presentation, I hope it gives you a general understanding of control points why they're important, and how you can find them on your own job site. Further videos are going to go over how to troubleshoot inaccurate control points, how to find the ones that are inaccurate, and also how to station accurately on your job.